Hey you guys, uh, Kentucky Anvil Man here with you. Uh, been a little while since I put one out, put a video out. Uh, had a few things going on. Uh, and this whole coronavirus pandemic has slowed me down on video production and everything. Uh, as most y'all know, I'm I'm an EMT, so I'm on the front lines of this, and it's it's been a little crazy. <clears throat> but. Also, uh, the Sportster. The Sportster is broken down right now. Uh, for some reason, the exhaust studs are stuck tightly in the heads. Uh, trying to fix that right now. I had to go get some new ones. Uh, may end up actually having to drill it out and retap it with a different size bolt. But if that happens, it happens. And We'll do the best that we possibly can. I know it's not the best solution, but it's a solution and it gets me on the road. Uh, anyway, a couple of updates. Uh, I am not going to be getting a new bike anytime soon. Uh, I'm just, I'm too upside down financially in the Sportster and just can't come up with the down payment that Harley Davidson's requiring me. Uh, but that's all right uh, I have found some aftermarket parts on the internet uh, one particular being something called a wedge fairing uh, makes Sportster look um, look almost like a little mini road glide uh, and there's other companies out there that offer offer products like bags and tail sections and fenders and stuff like that to where you can basically turn it into a road glide. Uh, so I, I've been looking around on the internet and looking at YouTube and everything and honestly I can't find that many people that have sportsters that are doing videos. Uh, most of them start, you know, people like Bike and Bird, Blockhead, you know, they started out with Sportsters, but they've upgraded to uh, soft tails or touring bikes or what have you. I think I'm going to stay with the Sportster crowd. Uh, I'm going to talk to some sponsors, try to get some sponsors lined up here, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, get some sponsors to come on board and get some parts and stuff at a discount show you guys what you can actually do with a little Sportster. Uh, my main priority is to make it to where me and the old lady can both ride on it comfortably. Uh, make it comfortable for long distance trips. And it's it's almost there. It, it does have a few more things that we need to do to it. Uh, but it's going to happen. Uh, okay, now as work goes I don't know what's going on with that just yet I do know that I right now it's business as usual uh, of course we have taken precautions against the coronavirus pandemic but you know we're on the front lines of it we could come in contact with it and not even know it uh, you know, people are freaking out over this, and, and to an extent, I understand it. You know, you don't want to get sick. You don't want to get a disease that, you know, a virus that could possibly kill you in, in a few days. You know, you really don't want to do that. I totally understand that. Uh, you know, I, me for one, I, if I get it, it's going to be rough on me, you know, with the pneumonia and the history of smoking and all that stuff. It'll be a little hard on me. Uh, but I worry about bringing it home to my wife or my parents or my nephews. You know, somebody that, if they caught it, it would be really bad on them. You know, if my parents caught it, you know, it could possibly kill my father. Well, actually, it would probably kill my father. So I don't really want to bring it home to them. I'm trying my best to prevent that. Uh, 
but you know, yeah, we are taking precautions. We're being a little bit smarter about stuff. But the weather is firing up. Uh, still a lot of rain, but you know, you can ride in rain. You can't really ride in snow or 20 degree wet. Well, you can ride in 20 degree weather, but I would prefer not to. <laughs> I'll just say that done it a few times don't want to do it again but uh i'll let y'all know what's going on uh hopefully i'll have the bike up and running either today or tomorrow and we can start putting out some videos some moto vlog videos i've got my new helmet in i'll do a review and show you the features of the new helmet uh probably going to be ordering a Senna 10C Pro to get a few more action shots but I'll let y'all know for definite what's going to be going on here uh, if not this week then definitely next week I, I'm trying to get back on my one video a week schedule it's just kind of hard right now but we'll see what we can do and I'll keep you all updated as best I can and hopefully we'll be in the wind here in the next few days. So until then, y'all remember, just be kind to each other. Don't be stupid. Please don't be one of these people that go out here and buy 8,000 rolls of toilet paper in one whack. I mean, really guys, what are you gonna do? You gonna wrap yourselves up like a mummy and try to prevent getting the coronavirus? That, that's, just, that's just crazy. But, you know, look, buy sensibly you know buy enough to get you through a couple of weeks of a you know if we have a mandatory quarantine you know buy enough to get you through that but don't don't go out here and hoard supplies and stuff i mean come on that that's just ridiculous you know let, leave some for these for the older generation leave some for the people with kids let you know me for one i can wipe my hind end with a corn cob for all i care you know, if it comes down to it, I've used a Sears catalog before, I'll do it again. But, you know, just, just be sensible. Don't, don't act stupid. Be a good neighbor. You know, do like Governor Bashir says. Be a good neighbor. Take care of each other, but stay away from each other. You know, treat each other kindly, but try to stay away from each other best you can. Uh, but until then... I'm going to get in here in Tractor Supply, and I'm going to order me some, or grab me some bolts just in case these studs don't work and I end up having to drill the holes out. But I'll let y'all know something here shortly. But until then, take care of each other, be kind to each other, love one another, and I'll see you next time. God bless.